Hello, and welcome to the JetBrains YouTube channel. In this video, we're looking at the second PHP Storm Early Access Preview Build, which brings long-anticipated support for Psalm and PHP Stan. Getting started with Psalm and PHP Stan is really simple. Inside the composer.json file, add the records for Psalm or PHP Stan and update the dependencies. PHP Storm will install the packages and automatically configure the tools inside the IDE. Next to the package records, there is a wrench icon. You can click it to start configuring the tool. As you can see, the path to the tool binary has been detected. Now, inside composer.json, we can use the quick fix to enable the corresponding code inspections. At this point, PHP Stan is already fully operable. For Psalm, you need to additionally provide a configuration file. If you don't have one, PHP Storm will prompt you to create one right away. That's it. The tools are now running and highlighting the detected issues directly in the code editor. And of course, you can run them in batch mode on your entire project too. This PHP Storm release also brings built in support for Psalm annotations. You can now specify them as regular PHP doc comments, and PHP Storm will provide code completion both for tags and for the data structures used. Inside your annotations, you can use pseudotypes, such as numeric, which is a supertype of int or float and numeric string, or scalar, for representing scalar values. When providing values for constants, you can use unions to indicate that several values are possible. If the class constants share a common prefix, you can specify them all using a wildcard. Lastly, basic generic support is now available in PHP Storm. For now, we cover the simple case of a function returning one of its parameters, and more cases will be supported later. This sums up the Psalm and PHP stand support in the latest EAP build of PHP Storm. Stay tuned for more updates, and thanks for watching.